Well, I think my story is really a story of of miracles and celebrating an anniversary of miracles. And I was so honored recently to receive a special anniversary card from a very special family that I've cared for for the the last 15 years, the Hill family, who came into my life about 15 years ago when their pediatrician referred their little one-year-old girl, Jordan, into us for a special evaluation because he was concerned when he found an enlarged spleen and some abnormal blood counts and referred her to us for a specialty evaluation. What we discovered was that he was correct. There were some worrisome findings on her exam and on her blood work that prompted us to ask the family to perform a bone marrow test, a really significant study in just a a little one-year-old girl, which we performed in our clinic. And I will remember always receiving that slide back from the laboratory, looking at it under the microscope and having one of those moments of, of disbelief and of great pause because uh, you kind of take your glasses off and you rub your eyes and say, I I hope that I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. I can't be seeing this. But it was true that we were seeing storage cells, cells that were consistent with a diagnosis of Gaucher disease, a very serious genetic disorder that uh, previously, if untreated, led to very serious complications in the liver, in the bone marrow function, in the bones, and in other tissues and organs. We were feeling fortunate to be in an era where despite how serious, how devastating this new diagnosis was for this lovely young family, that for the first time in history, there was something that we could do about it. Not just wait and watch and not just provide supportive care, but actually provide a new cutting edge treatment called enzyme replacement therapy, a a precious purified form of the enzyme which had to be infused every two weeks intravenously into this little girl. Uh, a, A medical demand that this remarkable family rose to that occasion with tremendous courage and and grace. And when three years later, when uh, Jordan's little sister Mallory arrived, we knew that it would be appropriate to test her as well. And at the age of four months, we were hoping that we would find a negative study. But in fact, her studies came back positive as well. And she also had Gaucher disease. And I remember the family, instead of being demoralized or overly depressed with that news, were thoughtful and were filled with great faith and courage and said, but you know, the girls will have each other. They will not be different. They will be together on this journey. And so the family, again, rose to this occasion, began to uh, be comfortable in their home of of acquiring and storing and preparing this very precious, uh, difficult enzyme therapy and having to see their children poked intravenously every two weeks for these infusions. And as their family grew and and as they added children to their family, and we knew what a a huge undertaking this was for any family to become medical experts in such a complex disease, uh, we, we just admired them so in the clinic. And mom was again thoughtful and said, you know, what we've learned on our journey is that if you look closely enough, you will always find more room in your heart. And in a way, I think that that has been also our history for all of Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Over the years, our community and our supporters have always looked a little closer and have always found more room for love in their hearts for the children and families who are entrusted to our care.